Think all ISI helmets protect you? Think again. Over 95% of ISI helmet manufacturers are gambling with your life. It's time to unveil the shocking truth about these helmets. Focusing on a crucial, often ignored detail, the helmet buckle. Fake ISI helmet manufacturers expect you to trust your life to a flimsy plastic clip. Guys, buckle up. We're going for an exciting ride today. We'll let the Steedbird helmet buckle take it from here and tell the story. Howdy riders, my name is Steelboat Helmet Buckle and I am proud to be a world champion. I'll take you to my workplace at Steelboat Factories in Delhi NCR and at Himachal Pradesh in India where we will spend valuable time at my lab. This is where we will go for a showdown with a lot of fake ISI helmet buckles on the road. For me to be deemed worthy of human head protection, I must pass through a series of five tests set by ISI, which is equivalent to European standards ECE 22.06. First, the durability test. I go through 5000 cycles of opening and closing with the 2kg load to determine my durability. Did that? No problem. Almost all fake ISI helmets fail this initial test as their buckle teeth can't even bear the basic wear and tear and get disengaged. After a crash, the rider is seen lying on one side and the helmet is found far away. For the second test, I go through a rust resistance test. Forty-eight hours of salt spray exposure and twenty-four hours of trying to check for any rust that may have gathered on my metal parts. As you can see, there is none on me. On the fake ISI buckle, you can see the rust gathering. After the rust check, one more durability test is done upon me. I go through five thousand cycles of opening and closing with a two kg load again. Job done with ease. And the fake ISI buckles didn't even clear the first round. And at this round, you can see the wear and tear gets worse. Next is the dynamic test of retention. It mimics the jerk I experience at the time of an accident. With me tied to a head foam, a 10 kg load dropped from a height of 75 centimeters or 750 mm precisely and the straps tied to me should not displace the helmet beyond 35 mm. And my measurements, 16.9. Having taken the fall, the helmet should not be displaced from the head more than 25 mm. 11.9 mm. My result, that's awesome. Now let's compare the fake ISI helmet buckle. Holy moly! You can see here that the fake ISI buckles didn't even hold on to the head form and failed miserably. It means the helmet comes off easily at the time of a jerk, before even the head hits the ground. And the often seen scenario repeats again. The helmet is on one side, whereas the rider is seen lying unprotected far away from the helmet on the other side. I mean, how can a buckle come off so easily? Are these life-saving buckles? or life-taking buckles. They spoil my good name. Lastly, and not in that order, this is my true strength test. It's called tensile test. In simple words, break load test. This is to test my strength with the amount of load I can take. The ISI norms require it to be a minimum of 200 kgs. And trust me, I surpassed that. This time, I did 257 kgs. And even when I'm locked on single teeth by my rider in a hurry, I still go beyond 200 kgs every time. Now let's take a look at these tests when done upon a fake ISI helmet buckle, better called as plastic clips. 19.5 kg, 2.1 kg, 10 kgs, 
49 kgs. And the often seen scenario repeats again. The helmet is on one side, whereas the rider is seen lying unprotected far away from the helmet on the other side. Let's have a quick review of how fake ISI helmets did. First round of durability failed. Rust prevention test failed. Second round of durability failed. Dynamic test of retention failed. Brake load test failed. 95% ISI helmet manufacturers in India failed these tests. This is simply shameful and I'm extremely disappointed. Thank you, Steve Buckle, for giving us an insight into your journey. Seeing all these tests, there is no doubt that for public safety, ISI needs to increase random testing for all ISI helmets in the market. On that note, third-party testing labs, OEMs, and many institutions are likely to have a tensile testing machine. We encourage them to randomly pick up ISI helmets from the market and do the simple 200 kg buckle brake load test. Failing this test is a big alarm right away. This test is a quick way to confirm how millions of lives are at stake using fake ISI helmets. Riders, your life is precious to you. Be safe and be in style with Steelbird helmets. Steelbird helmets, saving and styling lives since 1964.